Candida auris is a fungus that can cause serious infections. The organism showed distinct characteristics from other Candida species and was therefore considered a new species. Since it was first isolated from the ear, it was given the name Candida auris. Since its discovery in 2009, it has been reported in at least 47 countries worldwide. In 2018, it was added to the United States list of nationally notifiable conditions, aiding with timely detection of Candida auris and helping to contain its spread. The states with the highest number of cases include California, Florida, Illinois, New York, Nevada, and Texas. In 2019, the CDC labeled Candida auris as an urgent threat, the highest level of pathogen threat, which means it requires urgent and aggressive action. In October of 2022, the World Health Organization released the first ever list of health threatening fungi, and Candida auris was one of four fungi listed as critical priority group, the highest threat category. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's monthly report, between January and December of 2022, there were 2,377 reported cases of infections and 5,754 reported cases of colonization. In Pennsylvania, as of December 2023, 273 cases of Candida auris were reported across 11 counties. Most of these cases were in southeast Pennsylvania. The majority of these were screening cases, when a swab testing for colonization detects Candida auris, followed by clinical cases, when the fungus is identified via a clinical specimen collected during the normal course of care, and lastly, screening to clinical cases, when patients or residents found to be colonized later develop an infection. Almost half of the cases seen in Pennsylvania were identified in acute care hospitals, followed by long-term acute care hospitals, ventilator-capable skilled nursing facilities, and lastly, other long-term care facilities, such as skilled nursing facilities without ventilator care and personal care homes. Candida auris is a fungus that has been referred to as a superbug even though the nickname typically describes multidrug-resistant bacteria. It differs from its close relatives in terms of its genetics, resilience, and pathogenic capabilities. It is frequently resistant to commonly prescribed antifungal drugs. Patients remain colonized for long periods of time, or perhaps indefinitely, and it can persist on equipment and in the environment. Its biofilm formation capabilities help Candida auris stick to surfaces, from skin to indwelling devices, which may explain its infectivity. The conditions of the skin are perfect for Candida auris to form these adherent communities, which likely plays a role in catheter infections, environmental contamination, and spread to other patients or residents. If a patient or resident becomes colonized, it can lead to healthcare associated infections, like bloodstream infections, that have high mortality rates. For those who become colonized with Candida auris, there is no proven method for decolonization. Once they become carriers, they remain at risk for developing an infection and serve as a potential reservoir for continued spread in healthcare settings, and not just for the current inpatient stay, but for future stays as well. Candida auris can be treated by three major classes of antifungals, azoles, polyenes, and echinocandins. However, it can be resistant to some of the most commonly used medications. Identifying Candida auris can be a challenge due to its similarity to other yeasts. It can be misidentified as a number of different organisms. So, it's important for healthcare facilities to work with local or state health departments. Facilities should also report possible or confirmed Candida auris cases to local or state public health departments. So, what can we, as healthcare professionals, do to prevent spread? 1. Hand hygiene compliance, 
by adhering to the CDC's moments of hand hygiene. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer is the preferred hand hygiene method for Candida auris when hands are not visibly soiled. If hands are visibly soiled, use soap and water. 2. Appropriate use of transmission-based precautions based on the healthcare setting. 3. Cleaning and disinfecting of the patient care environment and reusable patient care equipment with the appropriate disinfectant. The CDC recommends using the EPA List P of antimicrobial products with claims against Candida auris. 4. Communication about a patient's Candida auris status when the patient is transferred to another unit or floor or to another healthcare facility. And 5. Candida auris colonization screening of contacts of newly identified case patients. For guidance in identifying which contacts to include for screening, facilities can work with local or state public health departments. Thank you for listening today. This video is part of a 10-part video series on Candida Auris. To access additional videos, please visit the Candida Auris video webpage at health.pa.gov slash video. For questions about Candida Auris, please contact your local health department or call 1-877-PA-HEALTH.